The U.S. economy added 428,000 jobs in April that beat expectations. And while the job market is still hot, other markets, not so much. For more insights on this, let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman in this week's Bidenomics. And Rick, obviously, you're looking at all of this within the context of how the Biden administration is driving a lot of the trends that we're seeing in the labor market, although inflation still appears to be the biggest issue, is it not? We're being whipsawed by some of those trends. So I look around and I see a lot of upheaval in the economy. So obviously, we did have a good jobs report, 428,000 new jobs in April. But look what's happening in the stock market, which, of course, we've been talking about this wipeout during the last two days. The Nasdaq is now down something like 22 percent for the year. The S&P is down as well. Look what is happening in the mortgage market. Uh, mortgage rates are now around 5.3 percent. They have surged uh, up about two and a half points in just eight months or so. So uh, if you think about where President Biden started, I mean, everything is different. <laughs> uh, inflation wasn't uh, on the radar when Biden took office. We were just beginning uh, the, you know, this uh, strong economic recovery. Uh, and the stock market, of course, was buoyed by friendly Federal Reserve policies, which are now shifting. Um, so uh, it is going to be quite volatile going into the midterm elections. And this is not good news for Democrats, obviously. I mean, that's the natural follow. What, what does it mean for President Biden? There's obviously a lot of other political issues, i.e. Roe v. Wade, that could yep. maybe mobilize the base. But as it relates to the economy, what do you think it means? So right now, the odds seem very likely that Republicans will regain uh, control of at least of the House of Representatives and maybe 50-50 odds in the Senate. Uh, that basically means Biden's legislative agenda would be dead after this year. And it's practically dead now because not much gets done in the midterm election. So let's say the Supreme Court does overturn uh, Roe v. Wade in uh, June, which does seem to be what's likely to happen. Will that change the political calculus here? Some Democrats seem to think that would boost their odds of keeping uh, control of the House because Democrats, of course, of course, mostly favor abortion rights. And uh, many Democrats are now making the case that Congress needs to pass a law that would enshrine the uh, right to get an abortion nationwide. They do not have the votes for that in the Senate, and there's almost no scenario in which they would have the votes for that. But if um, the overturn of Roe does help Democrats and they are able to keep control of Cong Congress in November, that is a that's a different scenario than we're facing right now. It does mean that uh, Biden's uh, legislative agenda could have kind of a rebirth next year, and that might include uh, raising the corporate tax rate and raising uh, individual tax rates, at least on the wealthy. I, I do not think that is the most likely case, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the change in the Supreme Court situation with Roe v. Wade is going to be politically explosive no matter what happens. For sure. Yeah. And reminder, six months out from the midterms, I finance is Rick Newman. Thanks so much.